Hard Life, Captain Albert are teaching here. All right, so one of our last videos where we tested our beach leader with 650 pound mono and the four out long line clip, we wanted to test out our bigger rigs. And by our bigger rigs, I didn't mean longer, just bigger as in the mono and test line. So we moved up to the 28 op circle hook with our 1200 pound mono and our six op long line clip on that. So We've got my buddy heading over here with his F450 and we're going to test it to see how or if we can move it at the same time. And yes, it's not made for towing out a sludge and this and that, but it goes to the theory of links, your crimps, your knots, and every connection a leader is made into has so many weak points because that's what everybody says. Well, we're out to prove it differently. And by doing that, it's towing about a 10,000 pound truck over, and we'll see how it looks. So I'm pretty stoked. I know I can. my leaders will handle this with no worries, but gotta put it to the test. I mean, you don't know. You don't know. You will, after this. guys so i am here at my friend albert's shop team hard life what's going on buddy silly boss silly see you, brother oh yeah so we are about to do something pretty phenomenal he has set up this really cool rig you want to take a moment and explain what we got going here I decided to start doing some testing of moving heavy objects the other day we did a small dodge ram now we're going to do the big boy over here or girl yeah. <laughs> I say? either way well let me tell you what he's got going on so do you make these? That is correct. Alright, so he makes these shark rigs. These things are, are pretty crazy. What's the biggest shark you figure you could catch off of something like this? We're waiting for Jaws, but she's been a little too scared to bite. But you could catch a great white off of something like this, right? Oh, yeah. Supposedly. Uh, they've until already, you actually do it. They, they've <laughs> already landed great whites from a surf and land. Um, obviously not with my leader, but if they can do it, I know oh, I yeah. can do it. And of course, the weakest point of a chain or a cable or anything is going to be where it transitions. So exactly. it's going to generally be this area or this area right here, I yeah. imagine. Yes. And actually, the swivel that we used the other day was the size smaller. So we upgraded a little bit because we were going with a lot bigger truck in comparison to the first truck we did. So I saw the first video, and that truck had a gross vehicle weight rating of about 6,400 pounds. Dry weight on that truck is probably closer to 4,000 pounds, maybe, maybe 5,500 pounds, I imagine, which is basically the cargo capacity minus the gross vehicle weight. That's My truck has a dry weight, an empty weight, of about 9,500 pounds. So we're talking about a truck that weighs almost twice as much as the truck that you had. Now, my truck is not empty. My truck actually has some stuff in it. With all the things I have on my truck, including the bumpers, what I got in the toolbox, all of that, I'm right at about 10,500 pounds with my truck. So we're going to hook this up. He's going to see if he can drag my truck. I'm going to keep my brakes locked on my truck just to see if he can drag it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was going to say that ain't happening. All right. So <laughs> but I will take it off, put it in neutral. I know it's rolling weight and, you know, all the other engineers on my channel are going to stare at it and go, well, you know what? It's not hard to get something to move. But you know what? If you can pull a 10,500-pound truck with this, I don't think you're going to find a shark that weighs 10,500 pounds. No, you're not. What's about the heaviest shark there is? It would be the great white. So that would probably be. They've got them up to 40, no, 2,500 pounds. About 2,500 pounds. Yeah. About the weight of a Prius. Easy. Something Easy. like that. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? Would you be willing, if you can roll my truck, which I have a feeling you can, you make some quality stuff, can we put the brakes on and see if you can move the truck? That would be impossible because. The line itself, this is only 1,000 pound and 600 pound. I got you, yeah. So as soon as you put the, that brake and Plus, those are stop. rubber, and those are going to create traction on the ground more so than just something that was smooth on the ground. Okay, let's see how this works. Mm -hmm.
We just got back from pulling the trucks, and I say trucks because I pulled him one direction, and what he did was he pulled me back the opposite direction. Now, the test on this was we upgraded in size of hook and in the long line clip, and the reason for that is because we also have different size of hooks and long line clips and so forth, so I wanted to ensure that we're kind of encompassing our biggest hook to our smallest hook and see how they work out. So, this is the one we had on the leader obviously you can see it there and I wanted to see if it opened up so in any case you can see right there it didn't even open up so we are good on the hook all the crimping is held and everything because nothing you can you don't see none of the coating ripped stretched or anything and even on the swivel on the long line clip the last one we used was a 4 aught. This is a 6 aught. this one is rated for 1500 pounds the other one was only rated for 1200 pounds but there you go so that is really really nice right there I'm really liking that so here we go